Welcome, thank you for accepting our invitation. I would like to talk a bit about uh, energy. How are we managing energy nowadays? And what are the challenges that we are facing? I think we're facing is really this uh, climate change associated with our fossil fuel usage, right? So as you note, uh, the CO2 emission globally from our fossil fuel use is uh, over 35 gigaton per year, and this is, uh, has a serious consequences on the global sustainability, right, with the global temperature rises and sea level rises. I think it's really critical to decarbonize and uh, develop new technologies so we can actually develop a sustainable future for our planet. That means reducing CO2 and develop CO2 neutral technologies or essentially negative CO2 uh, emission uh, technologies. And how is your uh, uh, research contributing to address uh, this challenge? So now it's really a very exciting time to utilize solar, uh, which are uh, sustainable and CO2 free, uh, to utilize wind to generate uh, both solar and wind generate electrons and generate electricity. Now, as you want to penetrate more of the electricity from solar wind, we need storage. Uh, I think it's really very critical uh, in the next few years, the next few decades, to develop uh, low-cost, sustainable energy storage technologies, allow greater penetration of these carbon-free uh, technology to penetrate into our society. Lithium-ion batteries are mainstream nowadays. Uh, what are the future batteries going to be based on? On which elements? So lithium-ion battery is currently based on cobalt, right, for our portable electronic devices. And now there are developments and uh, technologies that can utilize, uh, instead of cobalt, nickel, right, to power our vehicles, right. And now, now if we think of the future, in the distant future, 2050 or beyond, we need to think about technologies that are potentially more sustainable, right? And they can be made at large scale with a lower cost. And where uh, lithium ion batteries today are uh, still facing this challenge with uh, relatively high cost for uh, large scale utilization, right? To currently at $200 or $250 per kilowatt hour. And now if we want to think about wide distribution and penetration of storage technology in our society, developing lower cost uh, technologies is critical. And this is where I look for alternative technologies, uh, for example, like hydrogen or uh, hydrogen-based energy carriers, which is a key uh, that can enable us to uh, go to a sustainable uh, future. You mentioned cobalt, and actually when we talk about batteries, another thing we have to be concerned about are human rights. Uh, yes, so human rights issue uh, you mentioned has to do with mining of cobalt. And that's where I think we all have responsibilities to essentially uh, limit uh, and uh, think about how we actually obtain our cobalt. And this really should be part of our consideration as a scientist, as policy makers, as uh, manufacturers, uh, to think about this and take this into consideration uh, as we scale up and develop the technologies. Finally, you are certainly a very successful researcher at MIT. Uh, so what's the message that you might want to give uh, to young female researchers who look at you as a role model? I would say just uh, keep trying and believe in oneself. Thank you very much. It was really a pleasure. It's been a great pleasure.